Hello, it's good to see you again. I want to lift up the scripture today, which is from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. And it reads in this way, it says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I have other sheep who do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice, so there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. May God add a blessing to the reading of this word. Amen. Hello. It's good to see you again, brothers and sisters. I want to briefly talk to you about our attitude and the way in which we approach life and, and, and live our lives, the commitment that we bring to it. If you notice in this text, Jesus makes the distinction between the good shepherd and the hired hand. And he declares himself as the good shepherd. And he reminds us that the good shepherd is one that knows his people and cares for his flock and even will lay down his life to protect and care for them if necessary. Whenever danger arises, the Good Shepherd stands in the midst, there protecting and defending and caring and showing forth that there is a deep love and compassion in the Good Shepherd's heart. Unlike the hired hand, who runs away when the first signs of danger emerges, the hired hand's attitude is, you're on your own, I'm, I'm out of here, and the hired hand will run to safety. For there is no commitment, there is no relationship, there is no covenant between the two. The hired hand is, 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 has neither commitment, the hired hand has a lack of love, and the hired hand has a lack of care for what they're doing and who they are serving. Now I cannot help but feel that Jesus is saying not only something about himself here in the Gospel of John, but he's also saying something about us. In our work, in our endeavors, in our commitments, do we function as a good shepherd or a hired hand? Are we just trying to get through life, get through a job, get through the day? Is it just a job to us? that we have to be there and we have to do it? Do we bide our time? Or do we try to make a difference with our living, with our lives, through our endeavors, in our attitude, and ultimately in someone else's life? That's the difference between the hired hand and the good shepherd. Can people count on us? Do people witness in our attitude and being a depth of love and commitment and care? Do we exude the spirit that says what we do is important and that we care about you in our service and in our work, that we care about helping others and making a difference in the world? In other words, in our living, are we a good shepherd or are we just functioning as a hired hand? We have too many people living and working as hired hands in our world. They seem not to care. Have you ever been in an office, approached somebody at the office and tried to ask for some information and they acted like that you were, they acted like you were a sheer annoyance in their lives? Have you ever been in a store and the salesperson there at the cash register just acted as if your being there was a pain to their existence? We treat people without care, we treat people without love, we treat people without a commitment. 
We serve very often as hired hands and not as the good shepherd. The hired hand brings neither commitment nor care nor a sense of valued service into the midst of the community. They're just trying to get through. The model that Jesus gives us is to live life with a commitment and care and to engage in the work we do with a joy and enthusiasm, to relate to people and to show people that we care for them, to show people through our attitude that we care, that we truly care and we are capable of compassion and we're capable of love. Can you imagine what this world would be like if we all aspired to be the good shepherd and not the hired hand? If we all aspired to make a difference with our living and our life in someone else's living and life? Can you imagine what kind of world this would be? We could heal a lot of the anger. We could heal a lot of the alienation that exists in this world, just through our own attitude, through our own way in which we approach others and in our way in which we approach service, how we could heal so much hurt and anger in this world. What I'm simply saying here is that we can make a new society. We can make a new neighborhood. We can make a new workplace. We can make a new world if we just approach all of our endeavors with the spirit and the depth of being the good shepherd. Not the hired hand, but the good shepherd. The one who cares so richly and deeply for God and neighbor. One who cares to make a difference with their living. One who dares to even stand in the midst of the community, to defend the community, and to show others that we are about something and that something is of God and that something is of brother and sister, that something that we do is of our neighbor. To show forth our commitment and care every single day in everything we do, in all kinds of ways in our living. Be the Good Shepherd. God bless you, and we will talk next time. Take care.